Simple Interest Simon invests $4,700 at an annual interest rate of 7%. How much money does Simon have after 4 years? The formula for interest, which is the money that he's going to make, is going to be the principal value, which is your initial investment, and it's represented by a capital P, multiplied by the interest rate, which is represented by a lowercase r, and it is a decimal point of a percentage, and then multiply that by time. This time could be in years, months, or even weeks. It just depends on how, on if it's an annual interest rate, a like weekly interest rate, or monthly. So let's calculate our interest here. What is our principled value? Our principal is going to be 4,700. And then we're going to multiply that by our interest rate, which is 7%, but we need it in a decimal point. So 7% as a decimal is going to be 0.07. And then we need to multiply that by our time. Here, it says this is an annual interest rate, so our time is going to be in years, and we have our time here as 4 years. So we multiply by 4. So what is this going to be equal to? So if we plug this into our calculator, we're going to get our interest is going to be equal to 1,316. But this isn't how much money Simon has after four years. This is just how much money he made. This is the interest. But we need the total amount, which is going to be represented by A. So if our interest is how much money someone makes, then to calculate our total amount, we need to add the principal to our interest. So P plus P times R times T. And we can also write that, if we factor out a P, we can write that as the principal times 1 plus R times T. But I prefer to use this formula because it's easier to conceptualize it and think about it as principal plus interest. So we have our interest here, which is 1,316. So to calculate our total amount, A, we need to have 1,316 1, and then add our principal 4,700. And that's going to be equal to... 6,016. So after four years, Simon has $6,016. Let's look at another example. Amy invested $3,000 three years ago. She gained $360 in simple interest. What was the interest rate? So here we can see that our principal value was $3,000, and our time is three years, and we see $360 in simple interest. So our interest is going to be $360. But we are asked to solve for the interest rate. So let's use our equations here and see if we can solve for that. So interest, let's use this first one here. Interest, which is 360 is going to be equal to the principal, which is 3,000, multiplied by the rate, which we do not know, multiplied by time, which we know to be 3 years. So let's see if we can simplify, simplify this and solve for r. 3,000 times 3, that's going to be equal to 9,000. And now we can divide both sides by 9,000 to solve for r. So r is going to be equal to, and let's put this into our calculator, r is going to be equal to 0 
but we can also write this as a percentage by multiplying by 100. R is going to equal to 4%. So our interest rate was 4%. Patrick has $17,600 after a five-year investment at an interest rate of 2%. What was his original deposit? So we are looking for the original deposit, which is our principal amount. So we are looking for P. So what are we given? We are given 17,600, which is going to be the total amount. So this is going to be A. We are also given time, five years, and our interest rate of 2%. So I'm going to use this third equation here. A equals P times 1 plus R times T. So let's plug in the values that we know. We know our total amount is 17,600, and we know that's going to be equal to our principal, which we do not know, multiplied by 1 plus our interest rate of 2%, which is going to be 0 0.02 as a decimal, multiplied by our time, which is so let's simplify this and solve for our principal. 0 0.02 times 5 is going to be 0 0.1. So 1 plus 0 0.1 is going to be 1.1. And now we can divide both sides by 1.1. So what is 17,600 divided by 1.1? Well, that's going to be equal to 16,000. So our principal is going to be equal to 16,000. So Patrick invested $16,000, and after five years, he had $17,600.